Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today, I am, as you can see, kind of like trying to like chill a little bit and, and, and just kind of rein in my enthusiasm. Okay, so like a week or two ago, if you heard an excited squeal and thought, what is that noise? It was me because Lethal Cosmetics... I love them. They contacted me and they said, do you want to build a palette and show how to build a palette? I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's Lethal Cosmetics, right? They're German based. Do you guys know Lethal? You know Lethal Cosmetics, right? Well, if not, you really should. Vegan, cruelty free, uh, they're halal, they're carbon neutral. Um, and, and Lethal has, like, they're famous. They make all the different makeup products and blush. And, but, I, but they're really famous for their amazing eyeshadow formula, which is, like, infinitely buildable, yet still really, really potent. And they have these duochromes, and they have these uh, triochromes and megachromes, I'm going to call them, that just shift, like, like an angel playing a harp. I just absolutely love them. And they're known for the really creative looks that you can make with them. And they asked me if I wanted to make a 12 pan eyeshadow palette. So what's gonna happen today is I actually filmed it. Now I'm a little, I'm, at first I was a little ashamed. Like I, I, I'm looking really excited because I have the crystal ball and I know that I did good, right? But when I first did this, I was actually quite nervous. I told this to the lethal people too. I said, I don't know. I mean, like I'm worried it won't be usable, you know, like or I'll build it wrong. I mean, you guys, I'm a beauty journalist, but I'm not a makeup artist. Just because I follow makeup artists around and write about them, I thought, I, can I do this? And I did, and I filmed it, and they told me, they made me feel better, because they said somebody once has the record for building a palette uh, for working on it for six hours. I'm like, okay, well, mine won't be six, <laughs> six I don't know, maybe. But I did look around. I want to show you guys the process and how it works, but I also want to share with you that uh, Lethal was kind enough to let me know that because of this video, and because you watched this video, if you uh, go and build your own palette or go on their website, I linked their, you know, their main website below. But if you go on at, and use the website and use Rebecca20 at checkout, you get 20% off. What? I mean, it's so good. Um, and you guys, this is, uh, if you're in the United States watching this, it's, it's, it's a little bit of shipping to the U.S., about $8.99, and you can get more uh, for three-day express shipping, like if it's a gift or something like that. So you have to pay a little bit on shipping, but you're saving 20% on the actual palette or whatever it is you choose on uh, the Lethal Cosmetics site. If you haven't tried Lethal Cosmetics, especially if you're an eyeshadow aficionado, you owe it to yourself. You can see my excitement is real. I want to show you what I built. Oh gosh, should I show you now or should I let you see? No. I, well, here's the outside. We're going to go to me building the palette. I, I filmed it. And and then we're going to unbox it and we're going to put it on together. Okay, stay right there. Site. Let's find this. Build your own palette. Okay. Okay, so I want to do a new palette, and I want to do uh, 12 shadows, I think. Yeah, here's my choices here. So I can do six, four. Well, you can do a face palette, too. Let's do a 12, sh ooh, 12 shadows, four. Let's do 12 shadows. Okay. I'm going to choose that. Okay. All right, there it is. Ooh, okay. So now what we want to do... Okay, we have that. Now let's find our products here. I'm going to do 12 shadows. So I'm going to go over here, follow me over here, to the shadows. I'm going to do 12 shadows. Let's do a really nice eyeshadow palette. Here are my choices, and I can start dragging them over. So I think, you guys, if I use my pointer here, I want to do like three eye looks. Like let's do a quad, a quad, and a quad. Do you know what I'm saying? And let's do like different themed quads. And let's do, this is a big task for me. Let's see if I can like, ooh, have some interplay between them all, like a little bit. That's me closing the door in my office, sorry guys. Okay, so let's see. I want, oh, that's kind of a nice one. Um, oh, they're in alphabetical order, that's good, because if you like one. Okay, so when you click on them over here, when I go over them, oh, look at that. See now, Okay, first of all, they're in alphabetical order, which is really nice. Also, as you go through them, it enlarges them over here. 
See that one? Now I have to be careful, you guys, because I am obsessed with something like this shade, this Ecosphere shade, but this palette is for me. Okay, you know what it, you know what it's like, you guys? It's like when you, when I was young, okay? Really, really young. I'm still young now. But when I was young, I used to wear four inch, five inch heels all the time, right? So I still look at those in the store. Yeah, but those, I don't wear four or five inch heels anymore. So this Ecosphere shade, I love it. I'm not going to wear it. So let's, come on, Rebecca, let's get a little bit, let's get a little bit real here. Oh, I'm kind of, okay, you know what? Let's start with a matte and let's go with kind of a purpley pink. Look at this one. Okay, let's try this one. Ooh, that's nice. That would be the, you know, okay, now I'm, I'm, it's boring. Don't get me wrong, but it would be kind of a nice base, you know, for the whole lid of the eye, okay? And I want to try to stay, ooh, I like that one. Let me just see if something like that would work. Let's just see. Okay, and now, okay, that's kind of like the crazy one. And if that's the crazy one, so you could click on it and move it over. So if that's going to be for, for Rebecca, the craziest one, let's move it over into the crazy spot, right? Now, this one I have to be careful of, you guys. I want this one really, really badly. Maybe I'll even get, I got to get one kind of wild one, right? But not in that one. Okay, okay. Um, I want like a gray, you guys. I want like a, like some, ooh, here's some grays. Okay, let's try this one. What do you think? So now I have this and this and kind of over here, this would be, okay, okay, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay. Ooh, see, I'm attracted to these and Lethal's famous for them. But okay, let's just, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Okay, now. Oh, so look at this one, you guys. This is gray, but it has a metallic finish and shifts from tan, turquoise, blue, and violet. Violet, so it's got that purple in there. All right, let's take a look. Could I wear this row together? Let's do kind of a neutral nude line. All right, so let's look for a really boring beige for this spot right here, okay? Let's look for a really boring beige. Do they have one called boring beige? They don't. Let me see. Okay, boring beige, but pretty, you guys. Like, and you could almost even hop between these two, right? Maybe not. Okay, but anyway. All right, we need like a, now we need like a brown, a matte. Like a soft, kind of a chocolatey, but maybe this one right here, this nocturnal. Let me keep looking. Let me put nocturnal in there. So you just click on it. Let's just go up. Oh, no, 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 no. I like this one better. Okay, so I want to get rid of nocturnal. So you click on it. And then you move it to the trash can. Okay, Kinderwood. Ah, yes, I like that a lot better. Okay, now we need some sparkle and some like metallic. Oh, look at these, look at these, like, oh, look at these two right here, you see my nails? Let's do both of those. And Limbo, a champagne with a sparkling metallic finish and lithium is a taupe. Ooh, look at this line, you guys. So now we have like a pinky purple line. I'm kind of in love with this one here. And then we have a kind of, I. Admittedly, for lethal, I went kind of kind of subdued here. All right, now we need something with a little bit of color, and for me, color is kind of a green. So let me find like a matte green, inertia. No, that's like a, no, no, I can tell you right now, yeah, it's too, that one's kind of too cool for me. Not like cool, like yay, but like, you know. Okay, so let's go back up. I wanna look for something, here's a green. Mm, no. Okay, let's go up here. Ooh, look at that green. Oh, and that one. All right, well, no, I need something for like the whole eye, like fun to go over the whole eye. All right, let's, oh, there we go. Oh, you guys, there's like a white kind of green. How does it describe it? Iridescent white with green reflections and a pearlescent finish. All right, that's lovely. All right, now. Let's go look for some more greens. Mm, we've seen, I'm passing up a lot. All right, let's go. Ooh, inertia. All right, now we need some really fun kind of shifty, like kind of like green to gold. They told me over at Lethal that, oh, you guys, look. 
But do these, this and this go together? I'm okay with it. All right, and I need now. Okay, now here. This is the last spot on the palette. And I really want to do something wild. Because like the wildest I've gone is this shade right here, this lucid shade, and this retrograde shade, and they're not very wild. I actually I like this one too. I want to see what this uh, one does too. All right, I need, no, I need wild. What was that one that we saw earlier that we were looking at that I said I'm obsessed with, but I shouldn't buy? Let's find an I'm obsessed with. This one, Magnitude. Multi-chrome with metallic finish that shifts from red, pink, gold, lime green, and emerald green. So I'm thinking, what could I, like, look, this one, <clears throat> this Magnitude kind of could be worn with this Kindle wood, or certainly with this Midway. I mean, I just kind of want it for this line, but I see where they could kind of work together, or like maybe this over this even. All right, for now, this is our working model. But look, see, you can go in here, right, and choose. And then you could take them, you could change the spots, although I like it like that better. And you could do this on a phone, too, but you would just be dragging with your finger. Do you know what I mean? And then you could save it, or you could go, it's kind of cut off here, but you can make a new palette. And then you could share this so you can show a friend and they can laugh at what you've put together if you're me. Look at that. And then you could see you could go out and pick a new palette. Look at all these choices. All right, so after I built the palette, then they send it out. Here's what it looks like when it arrives. So you get all of the loose shadows. Well, they're not loose, they're packaged, but individually. And then you get the palette to put them in. And then, of course, from there, you need to put them into the palette. You just unwrap them and they're magnetic and you just click them into place. I made sure I put them in the same spots that I had designed it because that's how I wanted it to look. But, you know, they won't come out. They won't go anywhere. You can shake it around. It's magnetic. If you put one in the wrong spot, you just kind of, you know, put a little something under there and just take it out. It's just magnetic. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Here it is here. We're going to play with it right now. And here it is, nice mirror, of course, as you know, in the palette. And here's my shades as they're all in. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just like so proud of myself. I designed mine. You can design it any old way you want. I mean, you could do a face palette. You don't even have to do an eyeshadow palette. You could do one with less shades. But I went with this palette here. Here's that crazy, crazy shade that I really wanted to do, uh, the magnitude shade. There it is reflecting all different colors if you can see that. Um, but here it is in the pan and see it's nice and secure in there. It's not going anywhere. Those magnets are nice and strong. Let's, let me show you what I did. So I did three, I did three looks as I see it. I can mix them, but I did kind of a pinky gray look, a neutral look, which you're getting a preview of right now. And I did this kind of cooler greenish look, although this is a multi-chrome, so it goes a few different ways. Let me show you it on my arm in two different lightings. Here are the three rows, so row one, two, three, in the palette that I created in studio lighting. Take a look at those shades, and I'm, I'm looking at them maybe to do the three different looks, but I think I can also kind of jump it between the rows a little bit as I get more confidence, okay? And now I want to take you outside into the warm. California sunshine to show you what they look like on my arm outside. Take a look. You guys, I am so proud. Part of the smile is just my proudness. I built a palette that is like so beautiful and so useful and gets a little bit wild. You see, guys, I don't like to go too wild. I'm not comfortable when I go too wild with my eye looks. But these are kind of wild, yet they apply so beautifully. And as you see, I went with a neutral shade to do the intro, the neutral look here. But I did the other two. I want to show you all three of them, okay? So let's go to me applying these gorgeous shades. And remember, if you do Rebecca 20 at checkout, you get 20% off. I just keep reminding you that because, like, why wouldn't you do that? All right, so we're going to do a top row look and a bottom row look, one eye and one eye. Then we'll do my kind of neutral everyday middle pick there. Um, on both eyes, and that's the look I'll finish, okay? Um, these can be mixed up the way I did it, but I had tried, perhaps awkwardly, to do it as um, a look, a look, and a look. I, I don't know if we'll achieve that, but let's just, 
let's just give it a try, okay? So I'm gonna take um, my refer number 15. We're gonna do this look here across the top row here on this eye. And I'm just gonna gently go in now. Lethal uh, shadows are indeed lethal. They are well named. They are nice and pigmented, but in a really buildable way. And what I mean by that is they move around nicely. So this particular shadow right here has a lot of pigment to it, but this particular shadow, which is called lithophyte right here, has um, a lot of pigment to it, but it builds nicely and it moves around. Some shadows that are pigmented, you stick them and you go to move them and they're always going to leave that kind of dot of a heavier a heavier shade where you touched your brush initially to. And as you see, this one is just blending absolutely beautifully. That was a refer number 15, if I didn't say. And I'm gonna grab a refer number two right now. I have all clean brushes for all three of these looks. And just run underneath the eye with that same beautiful shade. It's a really powerful shade, the lithophyte shade, but when it's on the eye, as you see, it's just a kind of a nice dreamy, easy look. Okay, um, I want to go in with our second shade here, which is called Numb, kind of a gray shade that I chose. And I'm going to stick with that refer number two, actually, on this eye. And I'm just going to see, look, at it's, it takes on kind of a, a blue-gray look. We'll call it my elephant shade. I know it's called Numb, but I'm going to call it elephant. And it's just a really nice kind of cool-toned look, isn't it? like that. And those of you who are looking for the cool tone revolution, as I like to call it, this is nice because you can go in and build a palette of cool tones. And there's so many to choose from. Um, I want to use my finger here. I'm really liking this look already. I mean, I would just put some liner on and mascara and just really put like a bright pink lipstick and that would be really pretty. But you know, I'm not going to stop there. I don't know which one to use first. Let's go into this here, which is retrograde, which is kind of a, as Lethal is famous for these really, look at that. It's kind of going green, but I think it still works with the look. And I'm just tapping it on. There's no fallout. There's no ridiculous glitters or anything. The only fallout you see is just me clumsily with my finger there touching but there's no actual, as you can see, fallout. And it's just a really kind of cool gray look. And if I take my, if I take my uh, brush, the number two brush into, ooh, and put that maybe even in the corner because I really want to do something with that look. Let's in fact take this, because I'm not going to have fallout. Oh wow, you guys, when you press that, so when I take the brush and press it, um, these are, of course, the lethal shadows. When I press like that and drag the brush, it really creates, look at how beautiful that is. You can really see the duochrome, multi-chrome, really, in the mix. Isn't that beautiful? I'm so excited I made this palette. I made this. <laughs> I'm a little self-proud, I know. Okay. So now on this eye, we're not going to do any mascara or anything here because um, I don't have three eyes. Well, other than my all-knowing third eye, of course, right? But I can't put makeup on it. All right, I'm going to take the 27, also refer brush, and we're going to do this. This is what I consider my, you know, kind of wild and crazy here. And this is Celestial, which is kind of an iridescent whitish green. And also look at that. I'm using a really fluffy brush. I just want to show you guys something about the lethal shades that I've always loved. Look at that. I used a really fluffy brush and I applied it wantonly with wanton abandon. And it isn't going all over my cheeks. It's just like they stay put but move with the brush. And look at how pretty that iridescent color is. It's almost a way to just kind of like set the uh, primer or the concealer that you would have first on the eye. I'm sticking with that Refer 27 and we're going into this much darker shade here. Um, and, and the powder that you see coming off there is just that it's really just kind of a fine, fine, fine powder. And I'm applying this, this could be a little bit more dramatic with a flatter or more dense brush, but that's not the look I'm going for. Look at that shade, you guys. Oh, by the way, this shade right here is called Inertia. So Inertia is going on the eye just like that. And then I'm gonna go back in here with a refer number 28. Let's do Inertia under the eye too. And I'm just getting a really nice, cool, kind of green look. 
to this eye. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then we have these two shades left. So I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is called Lucid. And Lucid is kind of an emerald green that also kind of has like a bit of a golden shift to it. And I'm just putting that on. I don't even know if I would need all four of these. I just wanna show all four to you guys. This would kind of be like the night out edition because it's just really kind of chic. By edition, I mean A-D-D-I-T-I-O-N, edition, to the look. I'm loving that. That's a little bit darker than I would normally do for an everyday, but I feel really comfortable in it. And I know you're thinking, well, you should, Rebecca, you chose it. Now, this shade right here, this um, magnitude shade, this is the one that I said I had to do. This is a multi-chrome, and it's pretty incredible. So I'm going to just put that just in the middle there. Um, and I should use it more prominently, but I just like a little bit. I don't need it to be too crazy. And I love how these um, multi-chromes kind of work together and create a look that looks like, you guys, that I spent a lot more time on it than I actually did. Again, maybe a green liner and then like a really dark, dark, dark mascara. And I actually think this works really, really well. So we know that Lethal is famous for their lethal multi-chromes, duochromes, and just beautiful pigments. But let's see what happens when we put it to the everyday test. And I'm gonna take these beautiful looks off of my eyes and we are going to do a wearable, everyday, neutral look together with Lethal Cosmetics. Stay right there. Okay, so two crazy looks done and they're not crazy at all. I just mean for me, they're very bold, but I, can I just take a minute to say yay for me? Like I really designed a palette that I'm really already enjoying to this extent. That was playing with color and it felt very natural to me. And now we're gonna go to where I'm really comfy, which is this row right here. And I can mix within these rows, you guys, I really can. But just for our purposes here, I'm gonna do a really neutral look, starting with one of my favorite refer brushes, uh, the refer number one. And I'm just gonna take this beautiful shade. Just look at this beautiful shade, which is called Midway, good name for it. And I'm just gonna put Midway on both of my eyes, just to kind of, you know, set the stage. Again, trying to do a very neutral look because Lethal can go both ways. Even gonna take the number two brush and go under with the midway shade. I kinda want those two looks back that I did originally. I really like those, but this is gonna be fun. Okay, now we're gonna go into Kindlewood here, the second shade over, and just kind of darken the outer corners. And as you see, look, it goes on really dark, but watch, I can just blend away. I can blend with my finger. I can blend with a brush and just look at that. I mean, they're just, these are really, I can't explain. Well, no, I'm going to have to explain to you the formula. It's not creamy, but it's not powdery. It's just kind of like, it's like a watercolor. It just kind of changes and goes and moves with your with your brush, that's what it is. And it's like this wash of color that can be strong or subtle where your brush goes. And you take a good brush and these good shades and just look at that. I mean, that was really powerful. I really didn't even tap that off. And it just goes wherever my brush tells it to so easily. And I'm even gonna just use that underneath like that. I mean, that is, now look, I could go ahead and just go to work. Put my hair back nicer, a little bit of nice, lipstick and I could just go to work. Okay, but let's keep going because we've got these pretty shades here. So I like, I'm gonna use the number three, I guess I'm just going in order here. And I'm gonna take this beautiful shade right here, which is called Limbo. And I'm gonna put Limbo right here into uh, the center because I think that's really kind of pretty and a little underneath here. And then, which is what I wanted that shade for, that kind of champagne shade. And then I'm going to go into our very last shade, which is Lithium. And I'm gonna do that with my finger. This is, I'm again, intentionally making a very, very everyday neutral look, even though I'm using Lethal Cosmetics, known for being a little bit more deadly, right? <laughs> As the name implies. Now look at this. Tell me that's not office appropriate, date appropriate, and just kind of works with like the brown sweater that I'm wearing here. Let me get some, let me get some mascara on so you can see this kind of very 
every day, very Rebecca type look, all finished up. Stay right there. So I gotta tell you, I'm so proud of myself. No, no, I mean like joking aside, I am usually not one who would make my own palette because I wouldn't trust myself. I'm so in love, like I cannot wait to use this. All I did was take those few minutes with you guys that you saw and I have just made three looks and I want to start interchanging them a little bit because I see where I could work between the rows now and I want to try to do that next. But if all else fails, I've got three solid looks. We tried them all. I'm really excited. And you know, you, if you haven't tried the Lethal Cosmetics formula yet, you owe it to yourself. I really also want to go back in there and do a face palette. Did you see that you could do the face palette on the build a palette thing? So you can also put in a blush, you can put in, uh, you know, and you could get the eye look and everything too. So I, I'm excited. I'm so happy that Lethal asked me to demonstrate this for you guys. What an absolute pleasure. Hey, remember, I put a link below that just goes to the generalized website, but do remember that the folks over at Lethal were kind enough to say that if you type in Rebecca 20 at checkout, just for knowing me, you guys get 20% off, which is like incredibly, incredibly cool. And you can get $8.99 shipping to the US, depending upon where you are. You might be in Europe and then it'd be a little bit cheaper probably. Or you can also get three-day express shipping. So if you want to make a gift palette for a friend or loved one, very, very cool. I love this palette. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. And I hope you guys build something you love as well. Definitely let me know your thoughts down in comments. Tell me what you think of how I did. Give me feedback. Tell me what I should have done differently. Like, were you watching me do it going, no, no, Rebecca, no, pick that one. Like, let me know, let me know, because I want to build it. <laughs> I'm addicted now. So do let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It helps me get the word out to more people and let's me see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.